Praise the Lord, leaders of 2018. I'm Brother Gabe, and this is your January Info Link. As we get ready to come into the new year, there's a lot of exciting things that are happening in the month of January, and I want to make sure that everybody is on the same page. The first two set of dates that are very important is the first Sunday and the third Sunday of the month. The first Sunday, January 7th, we are going to have our outreach orientation. This is a mandatory event for all leaders and all leader spouses to attend. This event will take place at 8.30 a.m. on January 7th. The second event that is very important for you to be aware of is our very first director's meeting of 2018. This will take place on the third Sunday of the month, January 21st at 8.30 a.m. As we get ready to come to this meeting, there's a few things that you want to make sure that you're prepared for. They are as follows. The first thing that you want to be prepared for is the upcoming month calendar. We will review the times, the dates, and the locations for all of the events that are taking place in the next month. This will help us ensure that Brother Chris is able to adequately prepare the next month's newsletter before the end of the month, that our praise report and announcements are accurate, and that the people are aware of what's happening. One of the things that we strongly encourage is that you be the face of your ministry. As Brother Chris I mentioned before in our last meeting, this year he's going to be doing the praise report recording one time per month for the upcoming month. So connect with Brother Chris and find out when he's recording the praise report because we want to see every single leader on the praise report this year. Another important thing that you want to be prepared for at our upcoming meeting is the review of the stewardship schedule. And every month at the uh, director's meeting, I will have prepared the tentative stewardship schedule for the upcoming month. I will distribute this either before the meeting uh, via email or maybe at the meeting with paper or maybe both. And basically you will have two weeks to review the teams for the upcoming month, make any changes that need to be made. With that in mind, I would like to remind everybody that since it's the beginning of the year, you may have people sign up for your ministry and be approved for your ministry uh, by this coming meeting that we're going to have in three weeks that uh, were not previously approved at the time that we created the teams this month. With the stewardship schedule in mind, I'd like to remind everybody that your teams for 2018 with your current approved staff were due this past Sunday on Christmas Eve. I understand it's a busy time of year, time with your family, so not everybody was able to turn it in, but I please ask you to turn it in this week so that way I can distribute the January stewardship schedule as soon as possible. As a final tip for being prepared for the director's meeting, when you come, Come and be prepared. Um, I would, if, if I were you, I would bring a notepad, a pen, something to write with, maybe a laptop or an iPad that you can take notes with or even record if you want to. Um, and just come prepared. Sometimes uh, we have action points um, and things that you may need to follow up with or sometimes we may ask you to do certain things or uh, you may be contacted ahead of time to present something that's happening in your ministry. So you just want to make sure when you come to these meetings we have a lot of information to present in a very short amount of time. And we want to make sure everybody's ready. We want to make sure you're, hung you're fed so you're not hungry and uh, that you're, you're just intaking everything that's there. And this is a time where you can you know, also bring up uh, ideas or voice uh, concerns, things like that, and all of these is basically communication between the leadership of the church. So with that in mind, we want to invite everybody and make sure everyone is aware about our very first director's meeting on the third Sunday of this coming month, January 21st. We always encourage everybody and remind everybody if you're not going to be able to make it to a meeting, don't just not show up. Make sure that you contact Pastor directly for his direction. Contact him and let him know why you won't be there, and uh, that way we can make adequate preparations. The thing we would like to bring to your attention is that we believe and we understand that as leaders of the church, it is important for us to come together uh, during times of consecration and times of prayer and fasting, that the church leadership may be unified, that the body of Christ may be unified, and that we may be able to uh, receive from God the direction and the wisdom to follow the vision that our pastor has set forth for this church. So with that in mind, we'd like to remind everybody that in the beginning of January, we are having a church corporate fast. And yes, for the whole church, but we would like to ask all of the leaders to make it a point to participate, not just in the fast, but in the prayer meetings as well. This will be on January 12th through January 14th, Friday through Saturday. And we will be having prayer meetings each night at the church uh, during this time. So we ask every leader, make it a point, make it part of your plans to participate in this fast and to come together in prayer and seek the face of God that the church leadership may be unified and that the body of Christ may go forward. 
before we finish this info link, I'm going to do a quick review of the calendar to make sure that everybody knows all of the dates that have been solidified for the month of January are as follows. On Thursday the 4th, we have our Hour of Power at 7 p.m. On Friday the 5th, Little Lamb's Room renovation at 3.30 p.m. On Saturday the 6th, our Kingdom Kids staff orientation from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and our Junior Room renovation from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. On Sunday the 7th, we have prayer at 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. and we have our outreach orientation at 8.30. After church, there will be an usher meeting and training. On Tuesday the 9th, we have the support team staff meeting at 7 p.m. On Thursday the 11th, we have the hour of power at 7 p.m. On Friday the 12th through Sunday the 14th, we have our three-day church fast and prayer will be as follows on those days. On Friday the 12th, prayer will be at 7 p.m. On Saturday the 13th, prayer will be at 4 p.m. And on Sunday the 14th, prayer will be at 7 a.m. On the 13th, there is also the Think MOP conference. On Sunday the 14th, we have a youth morning devotion at 8 a.m. And a youth board meeting after church and the music ministry orientation after church. On Tuesday the 16th, the cafe orientation will be at 7 p.m. On Thursday the 18th, there will be the hour of power. On Friday the 19th and Saturday the 20th, there will be the NYA in Fontana Church. On Sunday the 21st, there will be prayer at 7 a.m. and our first director's meeting at 8.30 a.m. After church, there will be a support team cake auction and youth choir practice. On Monday the 22nd, Levi Project at 7 p.m. On Thursday the 25th, there will be the Hour of Power at 7 p.m. On Friday the 26th, the Ladies Service at 7 p.m. On Saturday the 27th, the Junior Social at 3 p.m. at the Contreras Home and the Youth Room Renovation at 10 a.m. and Kingdom Kids Room Renovation at 10 a.m. On Sunday the 28th, uh, staff and parent meeting for Little Lambs at 9 a.m. and the care ministry orientation at 5.30 p.m. at Pastor's House and praise team practice. These are all of the events that have been solidified for the calendar of the month of January and we're excited and we encourage everybody to be excited about what's happening, promote your ministry, continue to recruit people, ask them to join, and let's move forward together. As always, if you have any questions or any concerns or you're confused about something you need clarification, please contact me directly. You can call or text me at 909-992-9866 or you can email me at gg.hpachurch at gmail.com. And you can always come up and talk to me in person at church as well. I hope you've enjoyed this info link. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year. And may God continue to bless you and your ministry that the church may go forward in Jesus' name.